welcome to Big Sky 35. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some pickups and a real small SGC return that I'm excited to share with you. First is going to be some uh, PC pickups from a Gary Carter run that I'm doing. And uh, these this is from JT. It's Triple Crown 24 page. His eBay page. This classic, which is tough to find in a tin. The yellow just seems to chip and centering this issue. Uh, another FLIR 82 is another tough one to get. Um, so I get the 9 because I can afford the 9 and afford the 10. And then I picked up this Gary Carter gold out of 2022. Uh, Raider Rookie I needed. I didn't have the hollow Raider Rookie. Silver, however they call it. And then this year's Bomb Squad, one of the inserts. I really, really like in Don Ross. I bought a lot of Don Ross. Haven't hit the that one. I did have picked it up in different colors now. Ronnie Mauricio, which is a big prospect for the Mets. Now these are from Mike O. I was just buying... Uh, to make a nice little deal from his uh, his eBay page, Austin Martin, who should probably be in a tw Twins lineup, hopefully by the end of this year. Frankie Alvarez, Francisco, Matt said he should be catching before this year's up, be up with the team. And of course, I had to pick up a Pete Overdrive really like this insert as well it's pretty cool in some of the colors uh, this is just a base I really like these have not seen these I got the upper deck Frank Thomas best of a generation and then also he had the Cal Ripken and some of these I got off of his sale as well and I can't remember which is which uh, Ken Griffey Foot Locker. Really love this card. Never seen it before. And I work for a Champs, which is part of Foot Locker. <laughs> or owned by the same group. Another Kyle Rukin. Add to my PC. Closing in on a thousand cards for him. And I know that it's not even scratching the surface. Uh, this O'Neill Cruz. One of the top rookies of the year. Everybody's bright future. There's Juan Soto Blue. Out of four ninety nine. Bobby Witt three D. Just doesn't want to focus in on that one. Julio Rodriguez, high five future. Ailey Rushman. I don't think these are numbered. I think this was in that uh, the Bowman Light last year that they came out with. Uh, Mark Reynolds Blue. I know I think I picked this up off his page just says uh, Mark Reynolds is from Virginia. He actually played with the Upton brothers and David Wright at the beach area. Then he had some of these Sports Illustrated for Kids hockey cards. Peter Bondra. Jim Carrey. Wearing a mask. <laughs> then I got the Ronnie in the paper. Frankie Francisco Alvarez paper. Uh, these are really cool inserts. Defensive Wizardry Juan Soto. That's out of the big league. Big league sketch card of Pete. Same thing with Tatis. 
I'm pretty sure I got these off his page. Uh, then I got this. Uh, this is what drove me to get Sean Moore out of the uh, wild card. This is the World League football. Sean Moore was a quarterback at University of Virginia. Um, I know he played. Yeah, he got. He was drafted by Denver. But I, I don't think I've ever seen an NFL card of him. I could be very wrong. Then I picked up a bunch of his uh, rookie cards off of there. Made him give me a deal. <laughs> You buying up all my beyonds? <laughs> uh, Mike's a good guy. Can't wait for the national to see all those guys. Jeez. Uh, Brady House out of the 100. Number 63. Then I got the Francisco Chrome. Like I said, I bought some of these during the sales. Trout, Platinum. People, I, I wait to when he shows the Trout just to see if anybody else is going to grab it. Nobody ever does. Ryan Mountcastle, really cool. Uh, and I've opened up a lot of this and I keep getting the Jazz Chisholm one of this. GQ Gems. Pete Alonzo. The uh, Austin Martin. Virtuosic Vibrations. I've opened up a lot of Bowman uh, Blasters. Um, he pulled this out on one of his... I have yet to see him show this. And he pulled it out of one of his sales. Couldn't say no. Camouflage. Rookie card. I... I need this in the base, the 475, but I got it in that one, and uh, it wasn't a terrible price. Said he found it in one of his closets. Uh, this is the Piazza uh, low number, high number, whatever you want to call it. The high number, low number. Um, short print for Gypsy Queen. The Chrome Gypsy Queen, Piazza. And that's when he kept showing off, and I thought one of the other Mets guys would grab it. Finally, I'd say, just throw it in my pile, I'll take it. The green top Seaver, no no other Met guy wants it, I'll take it. That is numbered out of 99, of course. Beautiful card. Wander Franco, see the future. I have gotten Brandon Marsh three times in this and uh, Jazz Chisholm twice. And then, of course, Slabs, Pete Alonzo, the Legend Slab. Yeah, this for my Pete Alonzo rookies. And then some Trouts. I, again, waited. Nobody wanted them. And I, I don't know of a bad Trout to buy. So they're already graded. It won't much more than what the top grading fee is. So, top's finest. Who I really like this. The, these cards, they don't get a lot of respect in the hobby. This this might even be my f my favorite like chromium type of card. Nine nine point five, and then next is going to be my SGC pickups. I got, or SGC uh, returns, I got three cards here. Um, Non-sport, and you probably know what they are um, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook. I got the Batman 1.5, that's his rookie card. Now you'll see right there is a crease, a pretty bad crease in the corner there. Uh, all the way across it creases, so knew it was i'm just glad you see the crease there up in the corner beat up but i got the card that's all i wanted it and got it slabbed next is going to be robin number two in the collection got a four which is very respectable 
Now, if you watch one of my other videos, you know I have this whole set. So, I will be slowly sending them in one at a time to get them graded. I'm sorry about the way how this will not stay focused today. Different setup. I have a mess in here today. I got, as usual, I got cards everywhere. And then I got a four on the bat signal. Like I said, I got this whole set. Um, I'm gonna, I sent these three in just to, for testers, just to see about where they're at. I'm sending number four this week. And I, I will be lucky to get a one and a half on that one. That one's pretty damaged. Um, but again, I will have it slabbed. So until next time, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell notification. Um, I want to thank everybody for uh, watching this past Sunday, even though it was live. And we'll be back live this Sunday. Sunday I should have because I'm Carlos. Very excited to talk to him. Um, he's been a, a great backer of my, my live shows, and I appreciate that. So until Sunday night, we'll see you.